Well, hello and welcome back to Rio Centro Pavilion 3. Up next on table two, it's women's singles action in the class six. Group A, Sandra Powovic against Lee Kunwu of the Republic of Korea. And that is group eight. There's two groups in this one, two groups of three. Top two will qualify through to the semi-finals. The matches have been played as of yet, as you can see there, the Ukrainian Antonia Kodzinska is the other player in this group. Red hot favorite, really for the title is uh, Sandra Pajovic. She is the world number one and she's been in that position since June 2014. She's not lost for the last two years. She's uh, the world champion as well, won that in Beijing in 2014. Twice been a European champion in 2013 and 2015, won gold at the Slovenian Open and won gold at the Lignano Master Open. And she's won their only previous meeting against her opponent Lee Kun Wu at the Czech Open in 2015. So it's the favorite, but you just never know, do you? There's nothing to lose for Lee Kun Wu, who's a, a decent player herself, ranked eighth in the world. And he's had a good year as well, with silver at the Slovakia Open and won gold in the team event as well at the Slovakia Open. And, uh, other achievements have been uh, winning gold in 2013 at the Korean Open in the Class 6 to 7 section. Pavic in the pink on your right, Lee on the left. As I say, these two have met just the once before. Pavic winning that one at the Czech Open. 11 5, 11 5, 11 8. Lee's uh, philosophy is no regrets. And uh, her ambition is to win a medal in these Paralympic Games. To begin that. Uh, Republic of Korea, which is her homeland. Also likes uh, sewing, incidentally. And her impairment is the result of the effects of polio contracted at the age of three. And players with very different backstories. Uh, Sandra Parovich was actually involved in a car accident in 2009, which uh, caused her impairments. But uh, she was a, a table tennis player. Back at the age of six was when she first started playing in Croatia in 1989. And her ambition is to be the Paralympic champion and, as I say, is the favourite here. Her uh, most memorable moment was winning gold at the 2014 World Championships in Beijing. And her motto is to keep fighting. But a lot of pressure on her shoulders. Because of that winning run. I say, not lost since uh, 2014 at the Spanish Open. Katarina Valdez, the player who was the last player to beat her. But when you're on the biggest stage, nerves and everything else can play a real part. Just a reminder in terms of uh, how the players will get through the group. The top two go through. It's two groups of three. The top two go through to the knockout stages. But if they are level, so if you win one match, lose one match, the, uh, the tie-break formula will be on match ratio, then on game ratio, then on points ratio. So every point will count. So this is a class six matchup. The definition of the classes um, for class six is for severe impairments of the legs and arms.
Republic of Korea. They've uh, got a, a fine record in uh, para table tennis throughout the years. 25 golds, although all of them coming in the men's category. So if Lee was to shock the world and go on to take gold here in Rio, she would be the first woman to do so from her country. As for uh, Croatia, well, they have uh, never won a medal at the uh, Paralympics in table tennis. So a real opportunity for Sandra Pavic to correct that. Possibly go all the way to win gold, as I say, is the world champion in 2014 in Beijing. So this one uh, just about to get underway, then, this Group A encounter between uh, Lee Kun Wu and Sandra Pavic. It'll be the Korean to get us started. When you're playing against such an imposing player, it's very important to get a good start. You can see the tactic that Lee was using, they're just dropping it short to get uh, Pavic off balance. Good start here from the 47-year-old. As I say, it is one of the sports that no matter what age you are, you can have success in. Pavic 33, but at the moment, he's struggling. Gave it a big build-up, of course, having not lost a tournament play since 2014, and here she is 3-1 down. So maybe a few nerves in the system for the Croat. So coach uh, Natasha Skisilovic been with her since uh, 2012. A lovely angle from Lee. To say has uh, performed admirably in 2016, so should have a fair amount of confidence to take into this one, Lee. It's a nice cross-court forehand from Pavic. Incidentally, Lee has uh, won a silver medal before at the uh, Asian Para Games in Incheon. That was in the team event and won a bronze in the singles of the same games. He has never competed at a Paralympic Games. It's a big moment for both of these players here. An even match to start with. Good serve from Lee. Right into the corner. Certainly hasn't been overawed by facing the world number one. Beginning, you feel to find a rhythm, Pavic. Did well to deal with that serve. Seemed to read it. Took it very early as well, which took all the time away from the creation. Nice serve down the line, but Pavic was there and able to angle it away from Lee. There's the danger when you're up against someone with a, a bigger wingspan. If you open the court up, you can get hurt. That serve is into the net, so another point to Pavic. Just edging in front as we reach the crux of this opening game. Just a reminder, it is the best of five games. 
First to 11 points in each of them. Couple of forehands missing for Lee. After such a bright start, just a few too many unforced errors, and it gives Pavic four game points. Yeah, that forehand was a little short, not a lot of spin on it either from Pavic, and this time Lee does find the table with her forehand. So saves the first game point. but is unable to save the second. Using the whole width of the table there, Pavic, and after a slow start, comes through the first game. So the world number one in fine form. Just confirmation there then. Sandra Pavic taking the first game by 11 points to seven. It's in the women's singles, class six. It's a group A encounter. And Antonia Godzinska will uh, play tomorrow. That's when her first match is. Two groups, incidentally, Group B as well, both with three players. So if you're able to win a match comfortably, then you are within touching distance of a medal, really. The likelihood is that you'll be able to get through if you win in straight games. That will then mean you're pretty much through to the semi-finals. Of course, every point counting because if you win a match and then lose a match, it will go back on the tie-break format of games ratio and then points ratio. So after taking the opening game by 11 points to seven, Pavic has the momentum you feel to take into this one. After it was a slow start in the first game. And it'll be the crap to get the second game underway first. Shape. Lee was dictating the point there, really making Pavic stretch on both occasions, but just clung in the rally. Brush up the back of the ball enough there to get the top spin to dip it down. And that momentum gained from the back end of that first game continued into the second for the world number one. That's clever. Just knifing down the back of the ball and she was happy with that one. Beginning to enjoy herself, I think. After what was a nervous start. Worrying times for Lee. I just wonder whether she will call her coach or they'll call a timeout at some point if it continues in this direction. And everything working for Pavic. The apology to her opponent, that one nicking the top of the net, but finding the table. It's a bullet of a forehand from Pavic. Eight, 
There's the forehand again, doing the damage. Particularly cross court. So say Lee without the reach that Pavic has, and so if she can open up the angles, then surely that's the key to success for her. Although this time goes down the line, Lee expecting the ball going cross court. And the chance to get the bagel here for Pavic. Ten game points. But Lee does at least avoid the bagel. Gets herself on the scoreboard a lot later than she would have liked in this second game. Oh, what a shot. That's sensational. What a way to close out the second game. Exceptional table tennis play from Sandra Pavic. She goes up by two games to love. Takes the second game by 11 points to one. Second game taking just four minutes, but that's probably the shot of the day so far. Nothing wrong with the aggressive forehand from Lee right into the corner, but sheer reactions from Pavic. He could just guide the ball up the line and found the table. Plenty of discussion. Yu Sungun is uh, Lee's coach. They've uh, been together since 2010. So they know each other very well. Time called by the uh, Brazilian umpire, Juvenal Silva. It's pumped up for this one. No doubt about that, Sanja Pavic. Although you'd expect the players to be pumped up, of course, at the Paralympics, and it's the pinnacle of their sport. Uh, table tennis is the third largest Paralympic sport in terms of athlete numbers and is practiced in more than 100 countries. So it's some effort just to get here, yet let alone trying to win a medal. It'll be Lee then to get this third game underway and <laughs> covers her face there with the bat, knows that she's up against it right now. Maybe just a little affected by the performance from Pavic in that second game. It was a near-perfect performance from the Karat. Showing everyone why she is world number one. and She's in a, a dominant mood right now. That's a fine cross-court forehand from Lee. She's still alive and fighting out there. As I say, her philosophy is no regrets and doesn't want to have any left out on the table after this Group A encounter. And winning most of the duels, though, right now is Pavic. It's tough to know what Lee can do. She's got so many weapons in her armory. That's a beautiful off backhand, just nudged into the corner. Timeout then called by uh, Lee's coach. I don't know what is being said here. It's a very uh, one-way conversation. There's the uh, graphic of what the score is right now. That's a really bright start by Lee. Pavic has just got better and better. And look at concern though on the face of Lee. You can understand that look 
So many players have had that look whenever they faced it. This player in the last couple of years. That's a terrific serve. Turn as well. So, first time since the first game that Lee has won two points in a row. Could have made it three, but didn't quite get over the top of the ball. Sometimes lacks a little bit of topspin when he attacks with that forehand wing. Instead, a very flat ball. Can lead it to drifting out the back. That's a delightful point from Pavic. Had Lee scrapping one way, then the other. Backspin doing the trick on that occasion for the Croat. Just nicking the net and going long. Pavic knows she's close to getting a big win here in Group 8. That's great defensive play from Pavic. It was a, a wonderful serve from Lee right into the corner. Pavic right now is all over the table and has six match points. Well, quite a stunning performance from the world number one. Secures the victory in Group A. It's going to take something special to beat her, you feel, in Rio. The